Uh, I got a really good night's sleep, lots of rest, lots of coffee. Well, let's just see how this equipment's gonna hold up though because this thing doesn't like to start in the really freezing cold. I did have the block heater plugged in all night and I did charge the battery yesterday. So we should be in good shape. Fire this thing up, let it warm up. Now you can see the mess I got that I got to deal with. And so we get the mill right here. And this mess here. All right, we're going to get started on cleaning up. We'll talk to you in a bit. There's a lot more scrap slab wood than I thought I had. <laughs> I was certainly way overdue for cleaning behind that mill. I don't know if you can... Not done yet, there's still some more over there. So that's where all that slab wood was. There's still some more right there towards the end of the mill. That's mostly pine. There might be some still also buried underneath the side of the mill here that I'm gonna grab my shovel and dig out and see if there's anything left. You know, it's nothing like a little manual label to remind you that you're extremely out of shape. <laughs> you know, believe it or not, only about three years ago, I was running marathons. I weighed about 70 pounds less. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I bought myself a treadmill for Christmas. So, if you keep watching these videos, you might start noticing some of me disappear, I hope. That was tough because I was digging through frozen sawdust. I really have been looking forward to running my mill during my vacation. Between cleaning up all that wood that was on this pallet, stacking it in the woodshed, and then pulling out all this slab wood from behind the mill and cleaning up most of that mess behind the mill I think I've deserved to have a little fun, huh? Just saying. I'm gonna go ahead and whip this machine around and dig that out.
I gotta say that the mill back here has never looked so good. Well, not never, but it's been a while. But you can see the end of the mill is here and we've got it pretty much cleaned up right to the end of the mill. So I just got that little pile there, which, you know, I can get to. Um, but I'm gonna shovel this out by hand real quick. And then, uh, then we've got our mill cleanup done. Well, that's all I'm gonna do for today for cleanup around the mill. About half, three quarters, a quarter of wood. Moved it from one side of the yard to the other. Pulled all that slab wood out of here. All the sawdust, spread it out. As I'm milling, I'm gonna pick up after myself the sawdust, get the slabs thrown to the side so I have a place to cut them up. I do need to build one of them buzz saws that Ben's got though because cutting that stuff up with a chainsaw is gonna be a pain. I appreciate you watching this video. Just wanted to share this with you so you could see a little bit about, you know, the other stuff uh, aside from just the milling part, the other work that's involved and why you probably don't see me milling in every single video. Um, there's just so much more to do around here. <laughs> and as again, I appreciate you watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It does help the channel out a lot. If you like these videos and like to see some others, especially the saw milling videos, go back and check out my other videos. I think you'll like them. And if you like the stuff that you're seeing on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And when you hit the subscribe button, you're going to see a bell icon up, icon pop up. Hit that button and you'll be notified of every time I release a video and probably some woodworking projects coming up. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.